Hey everyone, welcome back to Red Roses TV. Today, I will be finishing my review of the first wave Nintendo Amiibo figures. In the Super Smash Bros. Wii U game, you can partner up with your Amiibo or play against friends, and you can modify the Amiibo's offensive and defensive capabilities. If you wanted to watch part 1 of the review first, click the annotation, but otherwise, let's jump right into it. First, we have Samus. What strikes me the most about this figure is definitely the metallic-like paint job of this figure. It's super crisp and clean, and it resembles the intergalactic suit that the actual character wears quite well. The colors overall, including the reds, the golds, the blues, and the coppers are festive, flaming, and eye-catching. Nintendo definitely took note of her body proportions with her long arms and legs and short torso. Her armor overall has a lot of detail, as I said, and her cannon. Her arm cannon looks cutting edge and well executed. The only downside I can see to this figure is that it's a little bit tilted to the side. It's not completely straight. Otherwise, I think this is a nice figure to have and I like it a lot. Next is Fox. First off, the pose design looks amazing. His posture looks like he's preparing to jump in the air with his left foot and arm raised like he's ready for some hand-to-hand -hand combat. His facial expression is stern but strong. Even the fur is very accurate and meticulously designed with a few touches of white and this ombre effect on his tail. His outfit is really on point. There's a lot of detailing such as this handgun upholstery and a white jacket that he's wearing, this red scarf, and even the zipper here. His reflector device, his green visor, his gray helmet that is enclosing his head. So there's a lot of detail, even the pattern of his shoes. A small critique I have would be regarding the stand. I think that Fox could have been spotlighted more if the stand was clear rather than a dark blue color. And also if this stand here was not so tall. For example, if the stand was under his shoe, like the way it is on the other foot, it would be better. It's a bit distracting, but I definitely commend the intricacy of this figurine. Princess Peach looks super charming and majestic. The colors on her are very bright. She is wearing a small crown that is painted gold with crimson and turquoise colored embellishments. Her face looks very accurate with those large eyes and small nose and mouth and she has this very content, relaxed facial expression. She's also holding her hand out, leaning a little bit, just like she's asking someone to dance at a ball. Her hair is bright yellow and there are some spiky parts included that I think resemble layered hair. Her dress is a fun royal pink color with a few layers. One layer is embroidered with some gold insignia and surrounded by a lot of lace. And she's also wearing a pair of very fiery red hot heels. Next is Marf, the Fire Emblem, another very meticulously crafted figure. His stance is militant and strong-willed, wearing these crisscross patterned brown boots. And he also has this blue cape on with a light blue insignia on it. There are different angles to his cape, so it makes it look more three-dimensional, more materially realistic. There are also hints of gold on his clothing and even on his tiara. A tiny hue of red and a lot of blue. His falchion sword and his sheath look very nice and detailed. There isn't much reaction in his face and perhaps the figure could have been improved if his facial expression showed more power and force. A strong face would match his strong pose design more. Here we have Villager from Animal Crossing. His character can be very adventurous and energetic at times, but looking at his pose on this figure, it looks like he is just relaxing, happy, being friendly to others, maybe waving. The figure is simple and sweet, and above all, Villager is a general, generic, favorable collectible to have. Lastly is Wii Fit Trainer. The pose design is super successful. She is engaging in the Lord of the Dance yoga pose where she has her right arm straight in front of her and her left hand grasping onto her left ankle. Her body is completely white which makes her have this mannequin-like appearance. She is wearing a ponytail and you have to look closely to see her facial expression which is serious and probably also very focused in holding that difficult balancing pose. And the stand is clear which is a good thing, 
but we fit trainer could have stood out more to me if the stand was just a bit shorter as we all know she is we fit trainer and trains people to become more physically fit and to me that includes having good balance ability looking at this figure kind of looks like she herself needs a kind of support to hold on to her own balance with that lofty stand which is a negative paradox but other than that she looks great all right so overall i think that nintendo did a phenomenal job on the collection these figures can be used in super smash bros and even some other nintendo games such as mario kart 8 and hyrule warriors I think that all of these figures have amazing visual appeal, impressive paint jobs, great attention to detail, and they pay appropriate homage to the characters that they portray. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button below because you don't want to miss my future reviews. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.